Howdy y'all, welcome to another episode of Toothless TV. Today I am here to show you guys the perfect beginner bass boat. And there's a reason behind it, let me show you. All right guys, so we're gonna be doing a review of the best beginner bass boat. And for those of you who saw the thumbnail and just want a quick introduction, the best beginner bass boat is the Bass Pro Shops Bass Tracker Classic XL. It's the cheapest boat you can buy to get exactly what you need starting out bass fishing. That's what I did about two years ago. I wasn't really sure if I was into it. I grew up fishing, but not really the tournament kind of bass fishing, artificial baits and all that. And I went ahead and bought this boat. And boy, let me tell you, I got so into it and I loved it. And now it's my time to grow out of it. And in the next week, I will have a brand new bigger bass boat fully tournament loaded so that's why we're making this video for you guys right now so you can see exactly what this boat has done for me and been able to teach me real quick if y'all enjoy this content please comment like and subscribe down below the goal this year is to get 1,000 subscribers and boy do we have some big things coming so y'all stay tuned for more all right guys so the best place to start out when we're doing a boat review is obviously the very front of the boat so this boat comes equipped with a swing away tongue on your trailer. It has a regular old trailer lock right here, your two double hooks, and then your, um, your plug that'll go into your lights. Now these lights here are submergible. You don't have to worry about unplugging it when you get into the boat ramp. I've done it every single time since I've bought the boat and it's been not an issue. I'm able to fit this boat in a two car garage very easily. And all I gotta do is pull this pin and then I'm able to pull this up. I'm not gonna do it because the boat's attached um, to the truck, but you're able to pull this up, tongue will swing back, and you can make it fit. Get an extra foot or two, and you're perfect to go. This boat comes equipped with a Minn Kota Edge trolling motor. This is basically the simplest trolling motor you can buy with a foot pedal. It does get this boat going. You got a foot, foot, foot controller that is not bolted down. You do not have a recessed foot trolling, uh, a recessed foot troller plate but it does have the five speeds you do have continuous you do have your momentary switch and let me tell you what it does get the job done you do not have spot lock um, but when you're fishing shallow when you're starting out fishing this is exactly what you need uh, i did equip it with a uh, side view down scan and 3d sonar on my front um fish finder here. This is my fish finder that I bought here. This is a Garmin 93 SV. This is pretty much the basic uh, unit for a upper class Garmin unit, other than the little strikers that you'll have on, you know, really small boats or ice fishing sort of ordeal. I do have these little straps on here just to keep it from flying off when you are um, moving the boat in transport because it does detach pretty easily. Let me just show you real fast. It'll detach just like that. In case you got thieves in your area, you can just throw these in the back of your truck and you're good to go. I actually went ahead and put a front and a rear marking on the plate so that way I know exactly which one's what. You can put that right back in and I just put my holders on and you're good to go. This has my 2D and my 3D and my side scan. So when I'm on the bow, I can go ahead and go with the drift and follow the fish and I'm able to jig up and down with my 2D sonar. It's great. An upgrade I did do to the boat guys is I got myself a set of boat buckles. I think anyone who owns a bass boat needs to get you a set of these. It sounds stupid, but boy does it save you a lot of time when you're taking this boat in and out of the water. It's just super easy. You just retract it down, put it right back up and just winch it. Stays on the trailer, very easy to do, not complicated at all. Another small upgrade that I did was put this micro power pole on the back of this boat. This was pretty much the scariest thing I've ever done to this boat. I had to drill four holes into the transom, which was a interesting task, say the least. But I tell you what, this thing will get you anchored in shallow water. Now you're not in a full stationary position. You are on a swivel because it's only one pole. But this power pole is an eight foot power pole. And as long as you got softer bottom, the harder bottom, it's a little tough, but softer bottom, this will get you down in about five to six feet of water and you'll be anchored pretty darn good. 
Y'all, this boat comes equipped with a 50 horsepower four-stroke Mercury engine. This engine will get you about 33 to 34 miles an hour full speed if you are trimmed right. If you got a fully loaded boat, and I'm talking three, four people, all your gear, rough water, everything, you're going about 30 miles an hour. Not too bad for a beginner bass boat. You'll get to where you want. You may not be the first guy there, but I tell you what, you can go throughout the entire lake and get there in a decent amount of time. All right, guys, we're gonna move into the very back of the boat. This is where you're gonna have all your wires, your um, gas tank, and all your batteries. You got this nice little latch back here. I went ahead and extra, uh, added an extra trolling motor battery. This is an AGM. They come standard with a deep cycle cranking, uh, lead acid, and a deep cycle um, lead acid for your trolling motor. Then it comes standard with your five gallon gas tank. That will get you quite a few miles down the lake. Um, not, too, not too shabby to get down the lake. This thing is amazing on gas. This is the main storage hatch of the boat. It's just behind your driver's seat, so super easy access. It does have a lock on it, which is nice. You'll open that right up, and you got all of this storage space. It does come equipped with a paddle. I was able to fit a whole milk crate here full of tackle. I was able to fit all my emergency supplies and then plus some. This is a very deep storage container. I was out here in the rain, hardly had any uh, precipitation in here at all. Moving on to the driver's cockpit, guys. We do not come equipped with a hot foot. Not a big deal for a boat like this. You got your standard forward, neutral, reverse, and your trim right here on your pedal. I went ahead and added my other Garmin unit, which these are um, ethernet together, so I am able to get my uh, waypoints on the front and on the back. But this as well has the down view, side view, um, and 3D sonar. Got quick my little cup holder here. And then if you come over here and look at the dash, we got our simple key switch here. We got our bilge and aerator. We do have a live well on this boat. And then our nav lights and our anchor lights. It does come equipped with a back pole anchor light and a front. And then over here, I went ahead and added my um, power pole up and down. You have a horn, little fuse switch, and then you got your 12 volt here, which can charge your batteries, GoPros, whatever else you want. And then you have an RPM meter. This boat does have two cockpit seats with it, with a ton of storage in the bottom. You can fit jackets in here. You can fit life jackets in here. You can fit extra bait buckets in here. You can fit whatever you want in this area. And then you have the exact same thing on this side as well. Here in the center, you got a little spot. You can put a cooler here or something with a cushion. You can have you a third seat. You can make yourself a little um, tackle box. You can make yourself a little storage space, whatever you want. It does have a um, drain plug there too, which will go straight to the back of the boat and it'll drain out with your bilge. One really nice thing about the Bass Tracker Classic XL, um, by the way, this is a 2021 model. So all the new models will have the exact same thing, I'm assuming. But they came equipped with this uh, nav light holder in the back. So you always will know where your nav light is. I run full speed with this in the sharpest of water and it doesn't come out and it fits perfectly right in here. And you got a beautiful spot for your nav light. Guys, this is the rod holder system in this boat. You don't have a rod locker, but when you're starting out, you don't need more than three or four rods anyway. And this thing's perfect. It'll hold one, two, three, and four rods with the corresponding rod tubes in there. I had bait casters, I had spinning rods in here, and they did great. Didn't even have to worry about rod socks. Now, once I start off getting a little better, I put a cooler here, I had more rods, then I put them up front. And I'll show you guys that accessory next. One of the easiest and most practical things that I put on this boat, I don't know why it took me so long to do it, was bow rod straps. These things are like $10, $20, and you got two little straps here that you drill into your boat. Super easy, you do it with any drill. It takes about five minutes, and you can fit three to four rods under here. I did the same thing on this side and it does just as well. Even with the trolling motor there, you can still fit three or four rods um, comfortably and the trolling motor doesn't get an impact. Those of you are thinking, does this boat even have a live well? How would you do tournaments with this? Let me show you right here. 
This live well right here will hold easily five bass. It has a recirc on there. It's not auto, you gotta do it yourself, but this does hold a decent amount of bass. This thing also does great if you don't wanna carry a cooler on board. You can throw ice in here in your drinks and this will last all day long. This boat comes equipped with one little light. It does a great job in the middle of the night if you're rigging up baits or whatnot. And then I went ahead and added some of these super strong magnets here with just some 3M double-sided tape. And I can hold my lures that I'm not using right away, but I want them in quick reach. This boat may not look like it has a ton of storage, but check her out. You got one big old entry right here. You can fit five to six Plano boxes in here, not a problem, with rope and an anchor. I've done it, it's perfect, I love it. And it's fairly waterproof. You don't have to worry about nothing getting in there. This boat comes equipped with two pedestal seats. Your front one right here, your back pedestal seat right here in between your storage unit and your batteries and your motor. It's perfect for your uh, passenger. One of the last things that I did on this boat, and I really wish I wouldn't have took this long because this is one of the things that has saved me a ton of time and a ton of heartbreak and it was really the easiest thing that i did is this simple cleat right here next to the driver's seat this cleat allows me to grab a quick rope a quick uh, boat strap whatever you have available and you can put it right on here and then you can drive right up to your boat cleat on your courtesy ramp and you, or your courtesy dock excuse me and you can go right up to there clip it right on and it's not going to be swaying left and right um, all the time you got it right here in the middle point and your boat's going to stay real still this in my opinion is the best bass boat for beginners i seriously mean this to heart y'all if you're looking for something cheap reliable and just to get your butt on the water and to learn how to bass fish the bass tracker classic xl is the boat for you I am not sponsored by this at all. They have given me no money. If anything, I've paid them more money than they need. Uh, Bass Pro, that is. But this boat right here is, in my opinion, the perfect beginner bass boat. You will outgrow it after a couple years, but this thing will get you on the water. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for staying tuned until the end of the video on the best budget bass fishing boat. I really do think this is the best bass boat for any beginner to get. It gets you on the water reliably and every single time. And this will really teach y'all how to bass fish effectively, um, whether it's shallow water, offshore, whatever you're trying to do, this is the boat for you, especially for beginners. I cannot stress that enough because you will outgrow this boat after a while. But we got big things to come here on the Toothless TV channel. We are gonna get a thousand subscribers and we got a new boat coming. Y'all stay tuned for more. Toothless TV, baby. Yeah.